Do you want to move the stream deck so you can put it there? Where the stream deck usually is? It's unfortunate that it... I'm sure it'll be... I'm sure in the end it's probably going to be like, what? A five minute fix and it was just inconvenient because we were about to go live. Right. Okay, cool. So that'll work. Alright. Ready? I am. Hey everyone, it is Eric and Rich from Team RTFC and Bacon Ice Cream Productions. What's going on? It's uh, time for a fun Friday. We're going to call yeah. it Fun-ish Friday, right? Fun-ish. Well, my deck is purely intended to be not taken as seriously as yours is probably intended to be a little bit more serious. Maybe, maybe. Um, but, uh, so Rich, what are, you, what, what are you playing before I... All right, so I'm playing General Megatron, um, Wayborn Flame War, and Raider Aimless. Um, it's a variation of a deck that I played before, like a long time ago. Um, and to be fair, it was only like three months ago. I mean, to us, it's a long time ago. I guess. I'm just saying. It's a it, whole wave it, of ago. It has it has only been three months though. Yeah, but it's one of the two decks that I was considering considering taking on the run when I went to. Uh, when we went to try to get this uh, Invitational Qualifier. Um, the reason why I... It's been more than three months. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry. You okay. keep talking. I'm I'm doing math in my head now. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. The, um, the reason why it didn't, it didn't make it um, was because I just felt that at, at the time, <coughs> in the current environment, that Ireland was definitely a better deck choice well your uh, ireland deck it. could could absolutely take advantage of a specific card to yeah press your luck <laughs> yes that's, that's very true As a very roundabout way to say press the advantage was legal uh-huh and uh -huh. this this and, and suffered it, a little bit it, when dealing with that absolutely did as a lot of uh, our purple brethren or my purple brethren you're you're yeah. more autobots than that's true that, but but um but i did really like the deck i thought it was really fun um and I'm trying not to shuffle on camera yeah. so that like, That's right. so people can see you talking. Yeah, and there's uh you know the, there's cool new things um, that can go into the deck right. that might make it a little more viable. So we're gonna try. We're gonna see what happens. So one of the things that right before we started recording, Rich asked a question or made a statement, and I had a follow up, and then unfortunately we had technical difficulties. That, That's true. But I don't think I lost the train of thought, which was you had said your original version was like a couple of splash of wave three cards and then the yep. rest was like wave one and wave two. That's correct. And I feel like that's kind of along the way that a lot of the wave three decks were. It was a lot of wave one, some wave two, mm -hmm. and then wave three was like, maybe there was one or two cards that did something, you know, like I know sometimes people tried the gyro blast or some people yeah. tried hiding spot, but it wasn't like that big of a balance reshift. And then, I don't know, but a lot of things that I see people trying seem like there's a lot more weight. Like there's that more even split. Like right. there's still a it's pretty heavy wave one in a lot of cases because there were a lot of good staple cards in right. there. Mm -hmm. You know your double pips are in there, so if you're running something that that makes sense, you know you're going to be a little bit heavier there. Yep. Some of like the better, better for lack of a better term, um, more versatile will probably be the better term. Like armed hovercrafts and things like that that yep. are just like that those were wave one but you know like the armed the ranged package as some people call it like the yeah, yeah. that's not all based out of wave one it's like you know, right. armed hovercraft out of wave one marksman shift out of wave two yeah i forget what came out of wave three but maybe nothing i don't remember but like so i feel like something happened in wave four that made maybe it made some cards in wave three a little bit better or you could be like these work well together or I, I'm okay having two of this and one of that or two and two rather than trying to, you know, slot in this other option. And 
people lost press, so all of a sudden you have to be like, what are you going to put in there? Right. But it just seemed like at the same time, because they happened to coincide, you ran into the, now there's this shift. And th it is an extra, what, 64 battle cards mm -hmm. in that, you know, that add to the pool so that it's going to spread out your, your concentrations anyway, especially yeah, yeah. Wave 4 has a lot of play very playable cards in it. Um, and then maybe some of the characters. I mean, you're not playing any of the characters in Wave 4, but right. some characters could, like, work better with some of those strategies. So That's true. I just, but I've been seeing, like, I look at a lot of lists that people are posting, and I'm like, well, there's, you know, 25% of your deck is Wave 3, Wave 4, or, you know, and I'm like, it's a definite difference in shift, especially because, like, I would build decks and be like, oh, I need to go four cards out of Wave 3, the rest is out of the other box. And then now it's like, I'm more like 30, 30, whatever the rest is, 40. Right. That's how, yeah, that's how math works, right? <laughs> um, I was like, I, 100, how do you do that? Um, so, yeah, I, I that's the, the conversation I wanted to have on, on the video because yep. I was like, I don't know what happened, but I definitely have been seeing that trend. Yeah. And I, yeah, I, I do think it's the added, like, extra percentage. Like, it's not quite 25%. It's a little bit less. But, like, they added, you know, it's a big chunk. And not all the cards are playable. Like, I mean, right. I've got cards in here that are not playable outside of what I'm going to do right now. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. like, you know, it, let's assume that it added 60 playable-ish cards, you know, mm -hmm. and, like, there's definitely some powerful th things in there. So I think yep. that you you see yourself skewing that way a little bit. Yep. Well, and we're also in a point where everyone's trying to experiment, so they want to try the things out to see if they work. Yeah. So, all right. All right. So, so what we got? Rich is playing this General Megatron Malarkey. So apparently we're just going to have lots and lots and lots and lots of uh, Decepticons on the board. Yep. Uh, so I'm playing Trypticon with his three dudes. And I don't remember what the three dudes really do, but I will figure it out as we play. Okay. And read some stuff. Sounds great. So let's get this rolling. All right. I have a five. And you need to push that die back to me because I can't reach it. I have an eight. Uh, your choice. All right. Um... <clears throat> I'm going to let you go first. Okay. Two, three. Uh, we're going to apologize right now. Our our uh, deck that lets us... Well, okay, it's called a stream deck, not yep. deck in the game. But we have a little control that usually sits just off camera that has, like, all the transform effects and all the different, like, little things that Rich has programmed in to add some extra flavor to our videos, like the flip of the screen that you probably just saw. And, um, and they did a software update, and yep. we it did deprogrammed a lot of our stuff. So Yeah, thanks, guys. Rich has one button, which is set up to the mouse right now, so hopefully we're able to keep that, and we'll, you know, we'll fix it and get, like, this literally happened as we were about to record, and we're like, Ugh. Yeah. So, all right, let's 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 start trying to do some stuff with some Trypticons. Um, Trypticon does that. I can transform into this mode. I can do that. Um, so, I don't have that. That doesn't help. Let's, uh... We're going to transform Trypticon, and we're going to swing into Flame War. Okay. For a total of eight. All right. Uh, and that is four. So we're going to take four. Yep. All right. Cool. Um, so... I will also note, I never played Metroplex. I've watched, I've played against Metroplex a bunch of times, and I've seen a lot of Metroplex videos, but I have never actually played it, so this 
I might mess up all my sequencing, but it's good to get it, get outside your box sometimes. Yep. All right. So let's flip the flame war. Sure thing. Uh, I'm gonna do that first. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <laughs> there, I'll be the soundboard. Nice. I am a terrible soundboard. Um, then we'll put... Uh, Sturdy Javelin on Amos. Sure. And then we'll start attacking. So, man, you're crouching in on my stuff. <laughs> uh, we, we will put my damage tokens here because yep. you have to throw that thing. Yep. So we'll do that right away. Mm -hmm. So he's coming in. We'll throw the thingy. And then... So... I have a one. Um, I'm going to... Swap... Uh, well, tell me how much da how much you're attacking. Uh, it's just three. So I'm going to take two. All right. So I'm going to swap this piece through Tyranny for the Battlefield Incursion. All right. I'm going to swap this... Callous leadership for the attack drone. Okay. And next attack. Next attack. Uh, we'll go right down the line. Flame more next. One, two, <coughs> three. Okay. That's just three again. Uh, defend two. So I'll take. Well, didn't you attack before there? No. Just or I only defended one. That's yeah, you only defended one. Yep. Um, so that's a five. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it's going to be important with this dude in his high health. And then uh, we'll grab I'm going to um, <coughs> swap this reprocess for the battlefield incursion. All right. And, and then, then Megatron. Megatron comes in. One, two. For five. Uh, defend one, take four. All right. So he is at nine damage. All right. And then we do this. Right. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have take, flipped him because I would have taken three less damage, but. All right. Draw a card. All right. Um, I'm going to <coughs> I'm going to look at my dudes and decide Mm -hmm. What thing I want to do. Okay. Those are some dudes. Yes. Okay. And wipe out draws card. Okay. So Phil Tilt, when he dies, he does damage. Wipe out draws and cards and Brunt. Scraps things. All right. Um, he's ranged. He's ranged. He's melee. He's ranged. He's ranged. He's ranged. So Phil Tilt comes out with as melee. All right. We're gonna transform Triptychon. All right. We're gonna play Battlefield Incursion. Yep. To deploy. One of my dudes. Yep, yep. That dude is going to be Brunt. Alrighty. I'm going to try to figure out where to... Alright, right, so big. Yeah. Um, and then...
I'm going to play Sturdy Javelin on Brunt. All right. Who is ranged. Yep. And then Brunt is going to attack Flamore. Okay. And you're going to do the two to Flamore? I'm deciding that right now. Okay. It can get thrown to anyone. Okay, yep. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tag Flame War with a sturdy javelin, mm -hmm. and then one, two, and Triptychon gives bold, mm -hmm. so Tyler will attack of five. All right, so we'll defend three of that, and we'll take two. Sure. Um. Grab the attack drum. <clears throat> All right. Um, Deciding if I want the scoundrel's blaster. Okay. Negative. All right. Go ahead. All right. Um, boom. Hello? Okay. okay. Draw card. I will flip Megatron. Mm-hmm. Can I read this? Mm-hmm. All right. Scrap an enemy weapon or armor. All right. Slightly annoying. All right. Um, I'm going to play these three attack turns. Okay. Um, what do I want to do? you to do that. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to attack with animals. Okay. Um, two. Four defense. And four attack, so that's a bounce. Um... Not taking the bashing shield. Okay. All right, my turn? Yep. Draw a card. <clears throat> okay. Um... We're going to play Battlefield Incursion. Yep. And we're going to bring out... Um, full Tilt. That sounds great. <clears throat> What's his revenge again? It deals damage. Okay. So deal one in this mode or deal two in this mode. Okay. My transform for the turn is to turn him to that to side. Mode. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we're going to give <clears throat> Triptychon this energy pack. Sounds... Splendid. He happens to be more than 20, 11 stars, so. Yes. Ah! They do take up a lot of space. It's yeah. a little bit hard. All right. Can we scoot Aimless back just a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. So no, you're, the rest of the guys are fine. Okay. It's just my damage counters are gotcha, gotcha. knocking Aimless yep. around. All right. Uh, upgrade. Yep. Um, upgrade, flip, action. Yep. Time to attack. Yeah. Yeah, it's just who do I attack with? Um, yeah, full tilt will will attack aimless. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's one. For three. That's two. That's three. 
and then it's an extra one. Uh, for three? Yes. Defend four. Okay. Okay. Table's yours. Drop it. Um, it's just you choose. What? The enemy do two damage to an enemy if yeah. Tripagana is on the battlefield. Okay. Alrighty. Can I ask a quick question? Yep. Lord, Lord Megatron has an ability, but I don't remember what it does. Oh, that's right. At the start of your turn, if there's three or more upgrades, do one damage to each enemy. Yeah, right. Yep. Sorry. Helping you, helping yep. you out. Yep. No, I knew it was that. I was just being like, I actually don't remember which side, which mode that ability is in. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, that's like a weird game of damage chess. So we'll marksmanship, full tilt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flip Megatron. Mm-hmm. Um, when you fifth to this mode, what? I can do damage to an enemy equal to the number of weapons I have on the battlefield. So you can put three, you get to choose. Yes, that's correct. So you get to put three damage on someone. So you can yep. kill Burnt, you can kill Phil Tilt, or you can put three damage on... On Trepticon, which I think is what I'll do. I'll just put the three damage on Trepticon. Okay. And then... We'll swing into Brunt. Okay. Uh, three. Uh, that's eight. Scrap one of those. Yep. Okay. Okay, draw a card. Hmm. 
Um. We'll play head-on collision, targeting Triptychon. Okay. And he will attack um, Megatron. Sure. I guess. Yep. One, two. Two. One, two. So nine. Uh, we'll take three. <coughs> well, that. <coughs> Sorry for all the coughing. You're up. It's all good. No, I'm apologizing to people watching the video. Oh. Um. I'm sure what they would like to do is hear me cough into a microphone into their speakers and or earbuds. Because I know I uh, recently commented that uh the podcast that airs every week done by vector sigma that i noticed that uh vin likes to like scratch his beard or something and i could hear it because i all i only listen to it with headphones mm -hmm. so i'm like felt like i'm right next to him listening to him just go and i'm like hey vin do you what do you do when that noise comes up and he's like oh and apparently someone else called him out on it after gotcha. that i was like good i'm least i'm not the only one all right, so we're going to flip Megatron? Yeah. And then we're going to play Escape Route? Sure. And we're going to flip him back? Sure. And we'll do two more to trip to come. <coughs> and then we're going to attack full tilt with Flame War. Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, two. Um, and I'm, I'm coming in for three. So he takes two and dies. Right? Uh, Wait, how I'm much are you taking for? Three. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. So Take one. Two, Take one. I'm, okay. I'm not... In my head, I heard five, and then I was like, I defended <laughs> two. I'm not sure right. how I got that way. All right. And then... Triptychon has another mode. Uh, range, uh, melee. Melee? Alright. Yeah, he's ranged in this mode and melee in the other. Alright. Alright. Are we all set? Um. Yes. And I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna grab one of those. And which one do I want? I can't see what they are, so... It's an extra padding and a reflex circuits. Okay. Um, <coughs> grab the extra padding. Okay. All right. I'll draw a card. So she has eight damage on you. You yeah. untap. Yeah, that's why I was like, wait a minute, something's not right. Yeah. Yep. Eight damage, three damage, no damage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to uh, play the bigger they are on full tilt. Yep. We're going to attack... Lord Megatron. Okay. Um, Jeez. Two, 
<coughs> so six pierce four. Okay, so I guess I'll take four. So we're going to flip Megatron? Mm-hmm. Slap the extra padding on him. Sure. <clears throat> and then... Uh, killing him with Aimless. Two. That's four. That'd be enough. Take two. All right. Yep. So he's going to die. He's going to... Tag Flame War and yep. take her off the board. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> yep. All right. Draw a card. Play Battlefield Incursion. Yep. Bring out Wipeout. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he's got this thing. I forgot about that. Yep. Because I can't see it. Bring out Wipeout. Um, transform Wipeout. Mm -hmm. Wipeout will attack. All right. For one. one. Two. One. Two. Three. What? Oh, whites. White. Okay. White. Okay. And he's got tough three. I know he has tough three. It, I was I couldn't see the whites. Oh, oh, oh. I was reminding you you didn't have flame more. Yep. And then bold. So he's attacking for five. Uh, attack number five, defend three, take two. You only defended three off of all those flips? Yeah. There was not a lot of blue. That that was that's an, just an, it was more of an unfortunate moment. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Okay. And we draw. Um it's the start of my turn. Damage time. Um, gonna put a shoulder holster on Megatron. Okay. Gives him an extra weapon slot. Mm hmm. It does something else, but only on mercenaries? Uh, when you put it on a character, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a weapon, you can play it. Sure. Revealed. Hey, it's an attack drone. Pretty rad. Good thing I tell you these things, huh? Right? For real. It's almost like I read the cards. <laughs> I just can't read your cards from here, and that's the problem. Um, so now sounds like a great time to flip Megatron. Okay. And deal Triptychon 3 damage. And then we'll attack Wipeout. Okay. I mean, it's the only option, so. One, two for the white. Well, that's unfortunate because that seems to be zero defense. That's all eight coming in then. All right. So. <clears throat> and they draw two cards if you have. Yes. Triptychon on the battlefield. So now the question is, what's the sequence? Okay. So I believe we deal damage and then we get to swap cards. So I should be able to draw the two cards and then I can swap for a green. I think so. Because you have to, because you calculate damage, yep. apply damage, uh -huh. and then you can swap out. Because if I swapped out a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a green, out the last step. Yes. So, yes. All right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. triggered he, effects. He dies. Yeah. I draw, draw two, two cards. And then hey, finally some it. weapons! Yay! Or some <laughs> some upgrades. Um, and then I will. Um.
I'll swap this sturdy javelin for the battlefield incursion. So then there's that, and then we do this. Draw a card. Yep. We are going to play Relentless Invasion as my star card. Yep. If you have Trypticon Assault Base on the battlefield, put full tilt, wipeout, and brunt from your KO area onto the battlefield, fully repaired. The characters put on the battlefield this way attack this turn. At the end of turn, put each of those characters that's still on the battlefield under Trypticon. <laughs> and they come back in the mode that they're in, but when they go under, they... So I, I had to read the FAQ on yeah. this. The battlefield incursion deploys them in alt mode, because I wasn't sure... Would this put them under in bot mode and then they come back out in bot mode? Because right, right. there's not. Because yep. this doesn't say. Like, gotcha. you know how Blaster yeah. says deploy them in bot mode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, uh, but it, they addressed it in the FAQ. Okay. Um, so they redeploy in alt mode. Yes. Battlefield incursion puts them into play in, in alt, alt mode. mode. And that's what I what okay. I needed to yep. know. All right. Um, all right. So that was my my action I get a transform effect so three two um. so I do wait this one was oh that was what was on the last guy you killed. Yes. And then he died. Um, so if I do that, I do this. That's better than that, potentially. All right. Um... We're going to give We're going to give Brunt a grenade launcher. And then we're going to do some attacking. Yep. <clears throat> um, he has tough 3, he has 3 defense. I do that. It's virtually the same right now. Yeah, that's fine. And none of them have better. Yeah, so I'm not going to. Am I going to transform Trypticon for that extra two? No. Um, Wipeout will swing at, um, no, uh, Brunt's going to swing at Aimless. Uh -huh. One, two. Bold one. One. Jesus. Two. Three. For Light. seven. Light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> um... Uh, I'm going to swap this piece through Tyranny for the reprocess. And I'm going to grab the reflex circuits. All right. Oh, wait. This way. Uh, full tilt's going to attack. Yep. Uh, wait, who? Uh, aimless. Okay. One, wait. two, wait. three, 
Light. Light. For five. All right, so then just these for five? Yes. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and then wipeout's going to attack. Yep. Also aimless? Yes. Okay. White. One. White. Two, well, that was much one, more successful. Two. Three. Six. Uh, white, white. Wow, that was real bad. Nine attack. I, I flipped um, real well. Okay, so that's seven. Um, he's going to die, but I'm going to grab this escape route. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot holster. about that. All right, and then and then Triptychon. Yep. One, two, for five. Light, light. One more. Yep. Uh. Heat defense. Yep. Um. Meh. I'm gonna. I grab the extra padding. Mm -hmm. All right, and then all of this becomes a giant pile of card. All right. Untap. Yep, untap. It's your turn. Okay. And then we're gonna. Card. Put the extra padding on Megatron. Mm hmm. Transform him. Mm hmm. Into Triptychon. <coughs> One. Two. No proc, but it's 13. Um, defend two, take 11. So let's see where that <coughs> sticks me. Uh, that's 20. That's 30. So I have four health left. Because of the energy yep. pack. All right. And then that's, uh, that's that, right? Next turn. Now we pass to my turn. Yep. yep. I just feel like I need to turn around. Yeah. All right. Draw a card. <clears throat> well, that's has not been as useful. Um. Battlefield incursion? Yep. To bring out uh, full tilt. Okay. Transform full tilt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Attack. Yep. Um, hang on. Do I do that? It doesn't matter. Um, I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm going to... Put myself in a bad situation. Um, play a secret action. Okay. 
Transform Trypticon yep. and attack. Okay. That's one. That's two. That's a tough one. That's a tough two. Nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Take four. One tap. Alright. I'm pretty sure I lose right now. Pretty sure I lost the turn that I couldn't. Wait on tap. Draw. Where I had to waste a whole bunch of attacks into aimless. I forget. Honestly, it was I forgot about the shoulder holster. Gotcha. Because I was what I was trying to do was it's, kill it's aimless kill to overwrite right, 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 and then I was like, yeah. <coughs> All you have to do is transform Megatron. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. Okay. I had I I had just <clears throat> laid that down. Go. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would have been good. I I forgot about the shoulder holster, which was a good combo for that because yeah, if I could have overwritten that, then you couldn't flip to deal multiple yeah, yeah, damage, yeah, and yeah. then I had the setup to be like, because then I didn't care about sacrifice armaments really, because right maybe I play that to get rid of him, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I could battlefield incursion bring out another dude. Yeah. Um. It was an interesting experiment. Yeah. There's a lot of like things going on that you have to keep track of with yeah, yeah, yeah. with Trippion. Like that turn where I where I uh, brought them all back. Mm -hmm. There was a consideration where I thought about transforming Trypticon to give him plus three attack by eating uh, full tilt, right? To kill like to to do two damage and mm -hmm. then to get the plus three attack, right? Um, but then he was going to be in the one defense mode, but I think that would have been a better option. Like, if I had gone back to that turn, if I had right. done that, then I would have put two damage on Megatron, and I probably would have swung Trypticon into Megatron, and he would have been a nine attack right, right. instead of sending multiple, th two, you know, a two attack plus whatever. Right. Um, yeah. Because I would have... But that that's a thing I need to keep in mind now. Right. This is why you, we play games and learn from them, because that prevented my entire strategy of, like, can I mm -hmm. get rid of all of those? Yeah. That was cool. And I got an unleashed potential, but I never drew the, uh, oh, the, the ancient wisdom. The ancient wisdom for the extra, um, was it relentless or something yeah. or whatever? In relentless invasions. Invasion. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's nasty. I mean, I'm... So I I made it very mixed. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna I'll lay it out real fast, that way. Sure. Yeah. Um, Here, let me make sure that we're in your thing. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> so it was it was very mixed, uh, but basically, I did three the pieces are usable too. No, they're not. No? no. No. Piece that has to sacrifice a six star oh, character oh, or better. Six star. Got it. Got yeah, it. I was like, hell no. Um, Sorry. Forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. Sacrifice trip again. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. And that's not going to happen. So, because I I had the bold on Trypticon, which is why I kept him in uh, alt mode a lot, mm -hmm. I was trying to get, like, I kept in the, the double stars. Yeah. Um,. All of the guys had a version, like, had a, a side that was um, ranged, at least. Mm -hmm. So, like, that that's my star card. Yep. Um, I, I put in a little bit of of bold because I was really trying to work on getting the, um, like, try to find, seek out the, the relentless, nope, uh, the one that deploys, which I can't yeah. remember right now what the name of that is. Incursion? Is it yeah, version? it might be. Yeah, um, so like bigger they are. It's so it, it, my original version of this started out as very orange. Like it was a very orange deck because I was like, let's take advantage of that bold. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was like three sturdy javelins. You know, the three grenade launchers. Like because right, right. because sturdy javelin could work on either of the characters because it was like okay, this makes sense because. Whatever mode they're in, it's at least two damage or two attack, you know. Right, so, right. Um, and then I started looking at things and going, well, if I do, like, 
head on collision? How, where does that put me with different things? So, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to finish sorting this out. Yep, yep. Um, so then I started going, well, where, where do, where do the things fall? So like the bigger they are was like, well, all my dudes are going to be littler than just about anyone, give or take. Right. So that sort of makes sense to me. Plus the pierce. So, you know, maybe that helps me, you know, knock some damage in, especially like full tilt who doesn't hit for very hard. Um, did I only have one energy pack? Yeah, I must have cut one. So my one ofs were Relentless Invasion, uh, Squish them Like Bugs because Trypticon is going to trigger that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One Ramming Speed, one Bashing Shield, one Energy Pack, and one Reprocess. Um, and I'm glad I remember, I forgot for a minute that I had only one Energy Pack because at one point I almost swapped the Energy Pack for the um, for the Battlefield Incursion. Oh. Um, and then I would not have seen it. Right. Which would have ended that game. I mean, it only would have ended it one really one yeah, turn one earlier, turn but, there, yeah. um, but it, it was also I had lots of action, so I'm a little bit more action heavy because, at some points you only have Trypticon out, so I didn't want to have lots of upgrades that I was like I can't do anything with. Right. So I'm kind of missing. I was trying to use the Ancient Wisdom Unleash Potential. Like, this, you know, lets you cycle a little bit, get maybe one or two cards back. Um, yeah, I wasn't completely action-heavy. Like, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So, it was fifteen upgrades. Yeah. Um, but I started skewing more and more in the blue side because I kept going, well, like marksmanship or an armed hovercraft those can all do stuff then i cut the armed hovercrafts because they weren't as good because yeah dealing one damage is okay but that didn't really bring their stats up super high mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and it was like trying to make room for other stuff so i just kind of this is what i fell into so three pieces three improvised shields two power punches the sturdy javelins you know i probably should have put in something like work overtime or system reboot or uh, pep talk just to, to try to draw the cards, but I was trying to stay a little bit more on the orange. Yeah. I had seven whites, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe I could have put in a work overtime or two. Yeah. Um, maybe cut the marksmanship, but this is where I fell. I've really just only worked on this today a little bit. I had two unleashed potentials and two ancient wisdoms in the event that I could get them both in my hand. But again, missing out on the I should probably draw stuff. I would I guess I was kind of hoping that um uh, uh with the one that wipe out that that would give me a little bit of card draw. I was also kind of hoping I could do the I still function, bring them back, let them attack, then they die at the end of the turn and get their revenge ability again. Right, yeah. Um but I just flipped them and I never saw them in my hand, but again, like some extra draw stuff probably would have helped that a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so like, I don't know. Do you feel like I was pressuring you a lot or did you feel pretty comfortable once? I felt pretty comfortable. I just was, I was a little leery of the unknown, that unknown being, are you going to be able to put out all the characters and then as they get systematically picked off the turn you need it, have that card like, have the Relentless Invasion to pull them all back out. Yeah. And I'm like, I mean, it's 1 in 40-ish. Yeah, like, I think there's 41 cards. Yeah. So I'm like, I mean, it'd be great if he gets it, because we'll see how it works. But I was sweating that turn. Um, because I thought, like, all right, well, this is, you're, you're going to get me. Um, but they, because I was so blue, like, like right. let's see. Yeah, because one, it, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So I had nineteen blues, seven or nineteen oranges, seven whites. Right. So I was orange heavy, but and I mean those were right, doubles, yeah, but doubles, yeah. like yeah. So I was sweating it a little bit, you know, and then aimless does aimless things, and I'm like soaking all that stuff up. I'm like, all right. I'm feeling better about this. 
And then when he died, I was like, all right, well, it doesn't matter because I still have the holster. Um, so I was, yeah, I was pretty okay. I was pretty okay. Um, but had it not gone that way, like had the turn order gone differently, or had you decided to attack Megatron all in, I don't know. Like I might have survived, which would have been, I don't maybe even more de- detrimental because that still would have left Aimless on the field. And yep. unless I had a, an upgrade to give him to give him more attack power, I would I would I would have yeah. I no, lost. I, I agree with that because where I made the mistake is I one I forgot about the shoulder holster straight up like mm-hmm. that that was me. I even at, told right, you yeah, what it you did. The card to me, I was like, he's the so, so the problem is, and this is the we got these new sleeves that are cool and matte so that yep. the top down camera doesn't have as much glare and stuff. Yep, yep. But from where I am, we have so yeah, many lights. The light, yeah. What I see is this very grayed out flat image and I'm just kind of like, all right. So I looked over and I was like, okay. But I knew it was there. I called it out and then I forgot it was there. Right, right. Because I was like, yeah, yep. I could do this. But that's, you know, it's a new card that I haven't really seen. I mean, I tried to put it in a deck, but not successfully. Yeah. So, had I recognized that, I probably would have swung all of them at Aimless. Or at uh, Megatron. But I probably, what I would have done is, had Trypticon eat full tilt, because he wasn't going to do any damage. Right. And then do two damage to Megatron. And then Brunt was going to swing with that with yeah, that the, grenade, the launcher, grenade launcher definitely do some Tripticon would have been a nine attacker uh-huh. and that would have swung it because who cares what uh wipeout does at right. that point yeah but like then at that point does he swing you know who does he swing into right. but it definitely would have put more damage on megatron, megatron yeah. and still set up i wasn't worried about aimless right. i just thought i had a cool because i also had the reprocess in my hand mm-hmm. so i was like if i could Get him to replace all of your attack drones. Yeah. Then you can only ping me for one damage when he flips. Yeah, you ping me for one when he stays in the in that mode, but does that matter? Mm-hmm. But then I'll just reprocess in the... Right, right. And then I was like, oops. Well, that didn't go the way I wanted right. it to. So, And then the, that last turn, it was like, what do I... Like, what could I do? It was, could I bring out another dude, but then you could still attack Trypticon? Or do I reprocess aimless off of you and like none of it's gonna matter right i don't even remember what i did for the last play i was like can't kill him yeah i mean i I guess i guess i could have relentless uh, relentless invasion brought out full tilt transformed trypticon eaten full tilt gave him the plus three and then swung into megatron but i don't know that that was gonna make a difference on that last attack not not sure like he I was in a good was place. At. A Megatron was at mm, nine, so he could deal deal six damage. He had three health, <coughs> or he had he had three defense. It's still t- tough to. Yeah, I mean, if we go back and look at it, I, yeah. I think I might have been able to like, because if I did did all of that, it would have been three, five more damage. Because the right. two, yeah. well, no. No, it would have been four damage because I couldn't flip uh, full tilt. Yeah. So he would ping for one. Trypticon would have gotten the plus three, so he would have attacked as a nine instead of just as a six and yeah. whatever the flips were. But that's yeah. a whole bunch of theory on. But, like, noticing where I, I made the mistake, 100% fell on the... Yeah. Yeah. And, and I was wondering, early game... There was an opportunity for me to, every time you put out a character, just completely kill it. <coughs> I was like, I don't think that works to the advantage of the player. Like, um. just giving you those revenge abilities over and over again. Like, I'm wondering what would ha- what would have happened if I had cleared your board because I had the opportunity to. So I lucked out in the way that it worked was the... Um, I got the... Relentless Invasions, in the first pass-through of the deck, I got them um, on different attacks. And then the right. the last one I think I drew off the top, I don't think I had a swap for it. Like, gotcha. And it was the turn that I 
would have wanted to play it anyway. So mm -hmm. the very big limiting factor in this is that all of a sudden you can't play actions because you played. Right. So it's like brainstorms could go in there and, and help with yeah, that. Yeah. You know, so it that was where my limit was. I was like, I have a battlefield incursion and I have a bigger they are. Well, crap. Does that help me? No, because I can't play both of them on the same turn. I can't right. bring my dude out and swing, you know. Right, right, right. So then the option is then you do you swing with Trypticon and be like, okay, cool. Now I can bigger they are next turn? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Right. Um, the difference really in that is whether I have the battlefield incursions or not, since it's hand-dependent instead of flip-dependent, like, mm -hmm. uh, Metroplexes. Because if you... You kill Brunt, right? Right. You, oh, Brunt gets to kill one of your upgrades. At that point, that the first turn that you could have done that, right. I would have gotten rid of an attack drone. Right. Wouldn't have let Megatron trigger and do the one damage, so maybe that was important, but it really only happened twice. Right. So it would yeah, have been... That was like the bonus stuff if you wind up loading it all up. Right. So you would have lost the attack drone. Okay. I think you would have, at that point, had to attack with Megatron. Mm -hmm. But then I would have only had one character. Right. So if I didn't have the Relentless Invasion... No, Battlefield Incursion. I yeah. keep calling them the wrong thing. Um, but if I didn't have the Battlefield Incursion to bring out the next character, then That'll you would have had two guys attacking into to Trypticon, and right. then I can attack, and then you get all of your guys. So <clears throat> where the negative of playing in a Metroplex thing is like... it dictates the pace because you can only do one flip one action mm -hmm. it also at the point where you're you're kind of loaded up it also plays in your benefit because i have less opportunities to interact with that right. and like block for for him yeah like so it might have benefited you i just i know i saw four relentless invade battlefield incursions right like I actually saw five because in the one I flipped two of them in the same That's flip, right. yeah, yeah. but like so I could only get back one. But you know, yeah. but it also I had to play that the card that put them all back under. Right. So that was also, you know, do, where does that fall in the mm -hmm. thing? So like that—that's the big handicap for Trypticon is these guys. Yep. If he didn't have to rely on that, or had like an ability that let you draw a card or yeah. when he attacks you can like like swoop can bring back a, a green card for free right you know like just any of those things that just helped or honestly it, it could be you could play a battlefield incursion for free like if you're in in alt mode or whatever it doesn't right, matter right. what else, but like maybe it would make more sense in the other mode but like you can be like, you can play this for free because you, you know, because you got it in your hand. And then that would free up your ability to do some interaction. Yeah. I feel like that's one of his biggest limitations. And then yeah. I'm going to, like, read it and be like, oh, look, it says it, that you can do that. I'm like, no, it doesn't. Nah. But I was trying to take advantage of that bold one. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I did... I mean, I clearly didn't because I didn't win. But I don't know if, like, I made any other, like, serious issues. I guess I could have put things like escape route or something because then you can transform him into this, eat someone, he gets the plus three, flip back to this, get your other guy's bold one, right. and then still have the plus three. Yep, but yep, yep. that's a lot of steps when you don't have multiple actions that you can play. Yep. But that was our first experience with Trypticon. Yeah. That was moderately frightening. Yeah. It was fun Friday. Yeah. So we'll we'll, we'll chalk see. it up to I mean I did try to take it I, I was actually trying to see like could I build something that made sense, but mm -hmm. I clearly missed some some marks. And maybe he's just not at the level where he can be super competitive. I mean, I don't know. It's worth it it's worth a look later on down the line, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, I will tell you for certain, Trypticon is not on my, hey, let's see, especially after this, hey, let's see if I can make this viable. Mm -hmm. Energon Invitational, you will not have this Trypticon coming with me. Yeah. Also, he's a giant pain in the ass to put into a backpack. That is true. Because this thing is massive. It is gigantic. Like, 
I like the size dis- differences in like the cards and stuff. Yeah. But like that, I already have trouble finding a pl- way to carry all of the character cards that I want to bring. <coughs> yeah, he's like, here, just bring this giant thing. Right. Yeah. It's not conducive to things. It's still cool though. I mean, it's cool. So. I enjoyed playing it. Yeah. I just I. Having never experienced it, but also now I know, and hopefully you've learned, and if, you've, if you're you watching the video, like, that's a thing you have to take into account with Trypticon, is if you don't have the Battlefield in, incursion, can you interact with it? Like, is it, like, what are your plays? Like, if I didn't see any of them early enough, he was just going to get hit for damage. Yeah. That's true. And and especially if I was like, well, I'm going to be in this mode. Like, even even uh, Aimless can hit him for damage. At, right. Like, yeah. in, in the if bo- I flip yeah. zero blues, yep. I was like, you know, so. Yep. I think right. that's going to call it for today. Yep, yep. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, we will see what's happening for next week. I know Thursday I'm not free to record anything, but hopefully we can get some other testing in for other ideas absolutely we have to it's cram time it is cram time it's like we have to do some stuff and figure this out figure out what we're gonna play especially since now you have to have it submitted by midnight yeah the night before because i'm i'm you know me i'm the guy that goes i don't know what i'm gonna play let's build it while i'm sitting there Uh that's what i did at origins yeah i just showed up and i'm like i don't know what i want to play i'm like I'm going to play the, the Vector Sigma Sentinels, uh, Orange Sentinels. I built it there. Never played it before. Yep. Like, uh, I went to a wild. tournament, played Bugs, built it right there. Like, I, that one I kind of knew I wanted to do that, but, yeah, 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 like, yeah. like I, w- I, I mean, it means I have to get locked in. The other thing I thought was interesting, and I, I'm pretty sure this is certain, mm-hmm. that if you make the top eight, you still have to play with the exact same deck. Really? I think so. Huh. That is interesting. Because I was like, I, I wondered that, and I'm pretty sure that's the way that it reads. Because I was like, if you make the top eight, can you go and be like, okay, here's how the field worked. I know what these guys were playing. Now can I swap out to something different? Right. You know, like like you could, at the big events, you could qualify, you know, into the top 32, but then you didn't have to play the same deck in the top 32. Right. So it's that's an interesting... Uh, I mean, I think it's fair. I right, think it's sure. it's what should happen. I just I wasn't certain that that was going to be what happens because I don't know how Magic does it with big two, like multiple day events. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm pretty certain that they have to stick with the same deck, but I'm not positive on that because I haven't run a large scale Magic event in many years, and I haven't played in one realistically in longer than that. So. All right, let's sign off. Let's stop right. letting me ramble. Yeah. All right. You just were like, hey, he's going to keep talking. And I'm like, <laughs> I will keep talking to fill dead air. All right. See you guys.